What's up clowns? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle against Ian. We've battled this guy before and this guy actually knows what the fuck he's doing. So um, I'm actually using the same team as last time just because last battle was kind of a joke video. Um, but anyway, looking at Ian's team, he's got a really, really strong team. He's got the Drapion, Cryagnol, the Vikavolt, the Caracosta, the Lantern, and the... Fuck, what is this thing called? Silvali. Um, so I gotta watch out for the Silvali. Don't know what type it is yet. Um, Drapion is also an issue. Um, and Vikavolt hits hard as well. So look at my team. You guys know my team from the last video. We've got Lipard, Quillfish. We've got Kingdra. We've got my man Juan Solo, the uh, the Ludicolo. We got Noivern and Uxi. So this battle was actually really, really good. This honestly, Ian outplayed me. I'm I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. But this battle was really fun, and uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. All right. So the battle begins. I'm gonna lead off with Tight Pussy, the Lipard. And Ian is going to lead off with Cuddles, the uh, Drapion. That's an interesting nickname. I don't know if I would be wanting to cuddle a Drapion, but it's whatever. I'm going to try to Thunder Wave here. I'm such a moron, guys. Holy shit. So I totally forgot that in the 7th generation, they nerfed Prankster, and it does not work on Dark type. So I am such a derp. <laughs> so he's going to Poison Jab me, and that does a shit ton of damage. So I know Lipard's going down here. I'm such an idiot, guys. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just did that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the rain here, and he's going to poison jab and knock out my tight pussy, <laughs> and uh, god dude, I was <sighs> I was so embarrassed that I did that, for real. <laughs> um, so now we have to kind of play catch up here, because I am definitely behind after that blunder, but anyway, I'm going to bring out Mrs. Puff, Quillfish is here, he's going to swap, he does not want to take the waterfall in the rain, he's going to bring out the uh, lantern here. And watch, this waterfall actually does a sizable amount of damage. So I'm wondering if this lantern's maybe like specially defensive rather than physically defensive. Um, but either way, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I don't want to take like a volt switch or thunderbolt or whatever. Um, so Quillfish is gonna get the hell out of here. I'm gonna bring out Uxi. And uh, I believe he does go, in fact, for the. No, he goes for the Scald. Sorry, I thought he, w he was gonna go for volt switch. But uh, yeah, he goes for Scald and in the rain, <laughs> and he crits me. It does a shit ton. To my Uxi, which is really unfortunate. Um, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I played so bad this game, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up for some rocks here because a lot of his team are actually weak to rocks. So uh, I definitely had to get my rocks up there. No if ands or buts about it. So he's gonna volt switch out now, um, as I believe I just go for the. I think I U-turn, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he's gonna bring out the Drapion. He's gonna take some rocks damage here. And, uh, no, I actually leave Uxie in here to die, so he's gonna go for the knockoff here, and this is not good, because I've lost both, or, well, I have three rain setters, but I've lost two of my main ones with the, uh, damp rock, so <laughs> things are not looking too hot for your boy here, so I'm gonna bring out Miss Puff again, and go for the clean waterfall, he's going to stay in here, sack off his Drapion, Drapion goes down finally, that thing can... I've lost so many battles to Drapion, I, I always hate facing it. It's got good bulk, it has decent attack, plus it gets access to Swords Dance, and it's a poison type, and my luck, I always get fucking poison, so <laughs> I just hate that thing. So he's going to bring in the Lantern here as I just poison jab. I wanted to get this thing low enough to to the point where anything on my team could really deal with this thing, um, as it is one of his bulky walls. So he's just going to Volt Switch, and uh, this is good for me because... Even though it, it uh, kills off my, my Quillfish, this is good because since he killed me, he has to bring in his Mon first, and then I can bring in something to adjust to it. So he's going to bring in his Silvali, and as we see here, he is the Fairy Silvali, so he's got the Fairy Drive or whatever. Um, I'm going to bring out my boy Juan Solo here dancing on the battlefield, going for the Hydro Pump, and uh, to my surprise, it actually Oko's, and that's without a crit, guys. So Life Orb Modest Ludicolo ain't fucking around. <laughs> And uh, Silvali actually has decent uh, natural bulk to it, so I was honestly a little surprised that killed. But anyway, he's going to bring out Minty Fresh here, and this thing is a pain in my ass. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm going to have to let Ludicolo die here, because I really don't have a switch for this thing. Like, Noivern does not want to take an ice attack, and Noivern's the only thing on my team now that outspeeds this thing. 
So I'm gonna have to bring in Boom Bed here. And uh, I am Choice Spec, so luckily the rain is gone. And uh, I do pack the Flamethrower, which actually hurts a lot of his team. Um, I think half of his team was actually weak to the Flamethrower, so he's gonna actually swap out and bring out the Lantern. He's gonna take some Rocks damage, and after the Rocks damage, Flamethrower Specs is going to be able to kill him, even though it's a resisted hit, but yeah, he was, he was very low, so... Lantern's finally gonna go down, which is great for me, honestly, so we're definitely picking up steam here. He's gonna bring out Vic Viper, which is his uh, Vic Vault or whatever. Um, really don't know why he did this, but... <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. It's a free kill as far as I'm concerned. Like, even if he was Choice Scarfed, I don't think he would have outsped me. But uh, anyway, we just go for the Flamethrower. That's going to kill off the Vic Volt as well. Um, so now he's going to bring out Lazarus, which is the... Uh, I almost said Crustal. The Caracosta. And I'm going to have to switch here uh, because Noivern does not want to take a Rock-type attack. So I know he's going to go for the Shell Smash, but I calced it and I can actually live a plus two rock slide from Caracosta with Kingdra, just because Kingdra has really nice natural bolt to it um, with 95s across the board. So anyway, he's going to go for the rock slide now. Of course, he's going to outspeed me because of the speed boost. But as I said before, I actually do have a chance to live that. And I do with 14 HP guys. And uh, I went for the Hydro Pump here over Surf because I really needed the extra power. Um, Surf, I don't believe... Well, I guess Surf probably had a chance to kill, but I just needed the extra power to ensure that kill. Because um, had I not killed there, he would have won the game. So, Kingdra's going to go down to my life orb. Thank God I didn't miss that Hydro Pump. I would have been so fucking livid. Um, but he's going to bring out Minty Fresh here, and I do outspeed this thing. Um, I think it has base 105 speed, and Noivern's like base 124 or something like that. So, I definitely outspeed this thing. Um, go for the Flamethrower. That is going to kill off Minty Fresh. I do believe that is his last Mon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Discord are where I get my battles from. So if you want to battle me, hit those up. Links as always in the description below. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I love you. Peace out.